What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dosh, coming back to your final take as well. A trailer stuff for a uh, short film titled Miner's Mountain Part 2. Now, let me just uh, clarify that I actually did a reaction, well, I would say a week or so ago, for Miner's Mountain. So I didn't think we would be getting a Part 2. Now, when I did the reaction, I kept making a statement that this could have been a full featured film and I would have been here for it. And the fact that we're going to get a Part 2 makes me immensely happy. I can say off the cuff, uh, been in. Bennett Pellington did an excellent job. He, I think, is the writer, director, and producer of this uh, horror short. And the gentleman playing uh, Sheriff Jeffries, I think his name is Henry Bazemore Jr., if I'm not mistaken, he did a phenomenal job within the film. I got so many emotions from him throughout the film, going from, you know, anger, you know, sadness, you know, you can just name it all, but like I stated, he really brought forth all of the characters emotions and in certain scenes throughout the entire film i was here for it. i really almost wish it was a feature film because it was so 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 good the ending i will say leaves up to the possibility of them you know it could have been done and i didn't think anything of it so you know i didn't really harbor on thinking we would get anything else but to know we have a part two so pretty much with that said let's go ahead and jump into this i'll save the rest of my thoughts at the end you guys Well, it's gone to shit. you guys oh I enjoyed this trailer okay it looks like from what it's showing um, we're gonna just continue on with the story from what happened to uh, Sheriff Jeffrey's um, wife you see if you all watched the short film I'm hoping you did because I'm gonna go ahead to speak on it you see at the end where she's you know comforting him after he's dealt with you know a situation where he's being somewhat interrogated by two agents and he she's you know him explaining to you how he feels guilty feeling he didn't help this one um, woman in regards to the situation where she ends up getting killed and she's like you know you didn't do anything wrong you know trying to put him at ease and you see she's like you know we can't do anything about that tonight you know let me go let the dog in so when she's going down he's you know getting a glass of water and that's when he turns on the lights or assuming the um, sensors turn the lights on you see what looks like to be some window goes whatever in the forest and that's when he hears the bamming at the door in the midst of that as well and it's consuming the cops because you see the flaring of the lights glaring and that's when he turns around he hears a kind of a scream which is his wife the dog sitting there barking can't go anywhere because it's still you know chained in the backyard and that's when he runs out because i'm assuming the cops are there to arrest him on arrest him and feel like they have enough you know to you know charge him with you know and that's when you know you see him and so you can clearly see um from what it looks like he's of course running to see if he can find a way to find her or whatever and in the midst of this, you know, you see the news, you know, covering show, you know, reporters showing up, you know, they know he's, you know, supposed to be in charge, but now he's considered missing as well as his wife. So I don't know if they're thinking he might have tried to do something to the wife. Now he's trying to, you know, flee or leave. But I like how this is going to open up to a little bit more, which is like I said, like you had a feature film, other deaths and they're happening in the midst of the situation with uh, Sheriff Jeffrey's situation with him trying to locate his wife. They're going to see what happens to hope, you know, unfortunately to this woman. And now they're going to probably have to really think, you know, were we hasty and, you know, assuming. I will say this one of them within the two agents kind of, you know, tinkering one straight out. He just had his whole mind made up, him doing this, you know, being this happened 20 years ago, whatever. Now this happened again, you know, like as if, you know, time plus by, you you got away with the first murder, now you doing murders again. Just had him all packed for being a murderer. It was just ridiculous. And some of his, you know, mindset of comments, 
leave a lot to be desired and I won't even go there because it's not even worth truly mentioning but needless to say it was everything was done very very well um, and this looks like it's going to be just as good I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, the conclusion uh, for part two I will keep my tabs on this one I really hope you do get to see it and you know and watch it and hopefully come back you know in this comment section and say some or goes to my reaction to it or go watch it yourselves and enjoy it I might even put it within the description so you guys can actually just watch the original short film for the first portion of this so with that said you guys comment below let me know what you think and with that said I'll see you guys in the next reaction you guys take care